Have you ever found this syntax for opening file super confusing? In this short video, I will break this syntax down and help you understand it in such a way that you'll never forget it. So let's comment out this confusing syntax and break it into pieces. Without this syntax, we would have to call the open function and assign the file it returns to the file variable. Now we can read from this file the same way as above and this works perfectly. Then why on earth would I use the commented syntax, right? Which is so much more confusing compared to this. So let me give you a great reason for this. Here, we also have to remember to close the file so that we don't accidentally cause any resource leaks, data corruption, etc. But this is just one line for closing the file, right? It isn't that great a reason. But we need to look at the bigger picture. What if some error occurred just before we were closing the file? All the risks associated with not closing the file are back, right? So for this, we'll have to implement exception handling, use a try except block. And now this initially simple way of doing it is now more complex than ever. So looking at our commented syntax, when you use with, it automatically handles the resource management for you. It ensures that these files are closed even if an exception occurs, basically making it more reliable. So in totality, this syntax first opens the file, assigns it to the variable file, which you can then freely access within that block without any exception handling. 